Class and guests. I want you to know this is a, a dream. Mm -hmm. um, it all started about 30 years ago when my husband Pete and I had a boat and we used it and traveled. Everywhere I went, I had my watercolors with me. And I painted on air on the boat where I was. And I was able to capture the colors that I love so much in the Bahamas. And they've become my trademark, the colors. I don't know quite why, but it happens when I put an ultramarine next to a cadmium yellow. Don't let them touch. I have found that if my paints touch one another and they're wet, they're going to dry as a blob. If I put my colors together and I leave a little white around it, it keeps the vibrancy of the colors. And it also is similar to what I see looking at each one of you. control, which we practice and warm up all the time, we'll start the more advanced ones with what we call the whole scene plan of calligraphy. The new people and the children will start with thick, thin lines. See you in a little bit. Once you know how to do it, it's so much easier than poking the screwdriver through it. You take your cap off, you put it in this way, screw it through that metal that's in there, becomes identified, and that's how you open your tube of paint, okay? I want you to squirt a good bit in your recycled plastic from Publix or wherever you shop. Save these. I'm into recycling a lot. I want you to save all these classified ads, the sheets, and I'll tell you why. And I want you to have this because this is going to be very important for you to uh, brush stroke. You only have one brush. Remember, I'm a sailor. I didn't want all those brushes. I can put the detail and things in afterwards. Now, this is called a number 20 brush, and I have specifically found it because it's the best thing for you. It's thin when you have all the brush strokes, the hairs together. And it's also fat. Okay? So, on your classified ad sheets, what you're going to be concerned about is three columns or two columns, but whatever it is, they've already got the lines on it. How nice it was to always start school with a new legal pad or a notebook. Wasn't that the most fun? All those nice lines. And so it's thin. Thick. Remember, I'm on a sailboat. I want to do it fast. Don't move this whole hand. Don't waste time twisting your brush. Don't waste time doing this. Don't waste time like this. Keep it straight. 
follow your course. Same angle. Freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze it. If you do anything, give it some pressure. Notice my hand does not move from here to here. The brush does not move. I'm not doing that, am I? And the reason we make this mix is because, again, you're being conservative. You don't want to use your full strength of paint. your little thatch bridge, more, more palms, more palms. Okay, we're going to start with our clouds. Do you see those stripes? I see stripes of those clouds. You see the puffiness of the paint's gray, and you see the blue, and you see the ruffle edge? Okay, that ruffle edge, watch this. This is it. That's your ruffle edge. It's control of your brush. Done. Change your brush color. Again, you've got clouds coming up, making those lines. Do you see those lines? How many of you do not see the lines? How many of you do see the lines? Yay! <laughs>
in a row. see on the top, you're going to see on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's add some yellow up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Okay, some over here. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. put the American flag behind it because what is more American than the beautiful American flag reflection around the white swan of the bonnet house in Fort Lauderdale Florida Easter weekend 2017 are we blessed so I'm going to prepare my palette of blue red And a little bit of gray, which I'm going to call bonnet gray. It's a mix of Payne's gray, a Mars black, a warm black, a little bit of blue, but it's going to be called bonnet gray. Because this morning when we started out, we had a Payne's gray sky and rain. And many of the students called, are we going to or aren't we going to? We are going to. It will be lovely when we get there. And it was. And it was magnificent. As I drove into the Bonnet House, there was patches of blue hitting white clouds and gray clouds at the same time. with the colors you're going to see, I'm going to do two things. First I'm going to do something simple, and then I'm going to show you how to lay out the whole scene. The American flag, to this day, I still have to count the red and the white stripes, no matter how many times I have done it. The red hits the sky. The red hits the sky. 
the white hits the blue. There are a total of seven, red, and one, two, three, four, five, six white stripes for the 13 colonies that started the United States. Is that correct? <laughs> and then as far as the stars go, just make sure there's a whole lot of white stars. <laughs> it's not in a circle. It's in sort, sort of a path. There are supposed to be 50, but I don't count those. I just want to make sure I get my, my clouds right and my swan right and my stripes right. So that is why we're going to be doing this today. And it's going to just take minutes. I've done it before. <laughs> we can't wait to see what you do. Um, so, did, you got a picture of everybody in the row? I did, yeah. I know, lots That's of wonderful. wonderful. Um, so, and I interviewed a couple people, so I gotta go back to work. Thank you. That's go. Rachel Galvin saying <laughs> goodbye. Come on over here, Rachel. She is the editor of the Deerfield Beach Observer newspaper, right up there in Deerfield Beach. And this has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Rachel. Now, the other thing, too, is what did we say? We're going to leave white against everything, right? Three. We're going to do three. One, two, There's a difference between sky and clouds. Sky is all that blue stuff, and clouds is all that white stuff. Mr. Clean! I normally like drips, but I really didn't want a drip there today.
approved by Broward School System uh, Screening Committee. So we are approved for homeschool. Uh, Maddie over there has two of her children. She's uh, homeschooling and that's why she's here with us today too. Thank you. 